The interesting thing about the tool company, though, that was the whole basis of his fortune. It was such a, a profitable operation. It just churned out money year after year after year. Um, and generally speaking, Howard kind of left that alone. Over time, he would be known as a meddler in his movies, in the Hughes Aircraft Company, and later on in Las Vegas. But the tool company, he left that alone, basically. He made sure it had good leadership. And I think he kind of considered that a monument to his father. He revered his father. And he always wanted to at least, I think, achieve what his father had done. But in, in keeping with that, he was happy to accept the profits of the tool company, but didn't want, um, but did not meddle with it and used that money to finance his own ventures.